Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, we will draw a logo design as per the client requirements. The client asked for a minimal logo, must include a horse and a sword and should be circular in shape. So we will start our design process by first drawing the rough sketches on the paper. So we will draw a perfect circle by using a compass and then divide it into three segments like this. We will start the sketching process by using an ordinary marker pen. This shape represents the horse and now we will start sketching our sword. Now this is our final logo on a paper. Now we will vectorize this logo in Inkscape. So go to Inkscape and first of all we will set the document properties. So go to file, select the document properties, select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width to 1280 and height to 720 pixels like this. Now select zoom to fit to page and now import the image. Like this. Now first of all we will select the ellipse tool and draw a circle like this. We doesn't need the fill so we will cancel it. We only need the stroke. So we will select the color for the stroke as this red color and click on this red color while holding down the shift key like this. Now the circle is almost invisible so we will increase its opacity by going into fill and stroke menu and increase the opacity to say 100% like this and place the circle at this point. Still our circle is almost invisible so we will increase its stroke width. Again go to fill and stroke menu and in the stroke style select the width to 1.5 pixels like this now it's better. Now select both of these shapes by holding down the now select both of these shapes by holding down the shift key like this and reduce the opacity to say 30% like this. Now select the pen tool and draw a line from this point to this one and to this end again this end up to this point and like this and press enter on the keyboard now we will increase the stroke width of this line like say 6 pixel it's better and we will select the round joints and round caps now we will select the round joints and round caps like this now we will select the edit pass by nodes tool and drag this line like this when we click on one of the nodes, it will show the handles. Now we will further adjust our shape by using these handles like this. It's better. For a better view, we will press Z on the keyboard and zoom out this shape with the help of the mouse. Like this. Now again select this shape and select the pen tool and continue from the point where we left like this and up to this point like this and up to this point and here again press enter on the keyboard like this now we will decrease this distortion by again selecting the edit pass by nodes tool and select this point and drag the handle until it looks better Mm, like this and select this point handle isn't appearing so drag this shape like this and the handle is on the way now again select the Z on the keyboard and zoom out this area like this again select the edit pass by nodes tool and select on the shape and select each node which we want to adjust 
like this one and uh, I think it's better now for this point we will select this and drag it like this and for this point we will drag it like this it's better now select zoom to fit to page and increase the dimensions or you can say stroke width to say 12 pixels like this now it seems better now it's time to draw the eye so select the ellipse tool and draw ellipse now we doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon while holding down the shift key and we will select this black color like this this color is very dull it means its opacity is lower so we will increase the opacity by going into fill and stroke menu and increase the opacity to 100% like this place it here and we will decrease the dimensions of the ellipse by holding down the control key and like this now place it here and rotate it like this now it seems better now again select the pen tool and draw these elements like this this one select the stroke width to 12 pixels like this and select the round joints and round caps again select the pen tool and draw from this point to this one like this again select the stroke width to 12 pixels and select the round joints and round caps again select the pen tool and draw from this point to this one press enter on the keyboard give the stroke width value to 12 pixels and select round joints and round caps select edit path by nodes tool and edit this path this isn't looking very well so we will decrease its curve like this now it's better now this is our horse now it's time to draw the sword again select the pen tool and start drawing from this point to this one now to cancel these handles select shift plus L on the keyboard and start dragging up to this point and like this again select shift plus L on the keyboard and up to this point and we will fill our shape by selecting on this icon now it will make a close shape like this now we will adjust it so press Z on the keyboard and zoom out so zoom in this area like this select the edit path by nodes tool and select this shape select the handles like this and I think it's better in this way select this point and adjust the handles like this look that this handle is, isn't appearing here so we will distort the shape like this and here we have drag the handle up to the circle point like this and drag it like this and this one I think that it's better now select the transform objects tool and now it doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon while holding down the shift key and give it a solid color by clicking on this black color like this now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this select the edit path by nodes tool and click on this circle click on this circle icon and drag it like this to give it a curvy look now rotate this uh, it's better and drag it like here now select the circle tool and draw a circle now we doesn't need the fill so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and give it a some solid color 
so we will select this black color so select this black color while holding down the shift key like this and drag it over here now it's better now select zoom to fit to page like this and this is our final logo we will delete the extra objects like this and reduce the dimensions to say like this right click sorry first of all we will select the shapes go to path select object to path and from here select stroke to path now right click duplicate it and drag it like this now select both of these shapes right click duplicate it and drag them here now select all of these shapes and reduce the dimensions so that they can fit to the page now it's time to give our shape some differences so we will delete these elements like this and like this now we have four different versions of this logo I really liked this one but you can tell your favorite one in the comment section it's time to give our logo some colors so select this one and this orange color same for the eye and for the sword we will choose this dark color again for this one For the sword we will choose this dark red color and for the horse we will choose the right one like this now you can give the random colors of your own choice now tell me in the comment section that how this design can be improved and also share your thoughts about the design that whether you liked it or not and if you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel thanks for watching and have a nice day